Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today we're going to be looking at how we can quickly and efficiently get rid of rows within our data that might have potential data in it but if we want to leave that within it without deleting the whole row. So if that sounds a little bit complicated we can see here that we have all these rows and columns that have data within but some of the rows are missing data that we can see here like so. If we want to get rid of these it's really easy to do that we can just press ctrl and g select the special select blanks and we can see that it highlights the blanks for us there at this point then we can go up to the home tab clicking down into cells and then we can go delete sheet rows we can see there then that it's deleted the rows for us out of that data making it nice and compact and getting rid of all them blank spaces that we didn't need however if we had data in here say we had one two three four in that as a year makes it sense and then we were to do the same and click special blanks and highlight like so. At this point when we go to the delete and we delete the sheet rows, it also deletes the 1, 2, 3, 4 that we have, which is something that we wouldn't want to do because if that was important data that we needed to keep hold of, then that wouldn't be too great if we were deleting it. So starting out then what we can do is we need to add filters to this. So we can select all the columns like so. So make sure that everything is selected that you want, not just the titles up here. We need to be selecting the whole columns up at the top. From here we can go to data, click onto the filter, and we can see that these little arrow and drop down boxes have appeared here. If you are tweaking and clicking on filter, what you can do is just click within your data and click Control, Shift and L and that will do exactly the same for you, bringing up them little drop down boxes. We can click on the drop down menu and we can see that we have to select all here. Clicking onto that, it will deselect all of the items within there and we want to go down until we see the blanks. If we click onto the blanks and then click OK, we can see that it's dropped out the majority of data other than what we have here in the 1, 2, 3, 4. And at this point then, if we use this to highlight and again select all and just select the blanks, we can see that we're left with no data within this. So we can use the quick formats of Control shift and left and then Control shift and down to just highlight there everything and then just delete the rows. Again you can go up here and you can click the home and delete if you want to do it that way but I just prefer to do it that way. Now at this point we need to undo what we've done so we can click onto the filter there select the one two three four and select OK and then select the name and again select all and select OK. If you want to do that a little bit quicker, again, there is the keyboard shortcut of taking the filter off the same way we put it on, where you press Control, Shift and L, and that will take it out for you. At this point, then, you're able to see that when all the data is deleted, that it does leave that one row in for us there, where we have the blank rows either side of it, but we're able to keep and retain the data that we had there. So hopefully this helps for you. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comments below, and we will hopefully see you again soon.